Now the four elements goes spring, summer, fall, winter, which we're all familiar with. When spring is stuck, it's shouty, it's angry, it's frustrated. When spring is in balance, it's calm and it's clear and it's assertive. It's either too much summer or too little summer. A balanced summer is like a bee who's just buzzing around, so excited to get in all the flowers and get the pollen, right? And you can see with Toby, like he is an example of a good summer because he's just totally in the moment with that guy. There's nothing distracting him at all. He's not thinking about anything else. Autumn, when it's out of balance, that's like depressed. A lot of times grief comes up in autumn, not being able to accept things, not being able to let go of things. But when autumn's balanced, it's about just accepting and receiving and letting go. And then winter, when it's out of balance, fear and panic, but when it's in balance, it's about being still and resting. It's about gratitude, you know, being grateful for what we have. And from that stillness and the gratitude, you develop courage to start the spring again. So in the West, it's like, don't get angry. Like, that's bad. Well, anger is fine if it makes you do something. That's the energy that sprouts a seed. That's the energy that makes movement happen. The, the mistake is to stay in anger. The mistake is to stay in hyperactivity, right? The mistake is to stay in grief. The mistake is to stay in fear. There's, you know, circles within circles within circles. There's kind of lots of levels to it, but that's why it's worth reading the book. It's worth deep diving. It's worth doing the YouTube version, not the TikTok version, and taking a really good look into these archetypical approaches to understanding yourself and understanding life.